general information about fairy tales that might be helpful. Um, in reading them, going over them, we discovered that they were very short by nature. And uh, looking at other works that were based on them, they don't really lend themselves to um, to be extended, or uh, it didn't seem to make sense to try and uh, create more of a story than was already uh, entailed in, in in the fairy tale itself. Uh, so one of our inventions or, or thoughts was to create our own fairy tale character, which turned out to be the baker and his wife, and intersperse several tales together rather than just write an original tale or take one single tale to uh, musicalize and make into a show. Uh, what interested uh, me about fairy tales and, and sort of getting another uh, tact on them was that there's the other side of the coin. You can you can look at Cinderella and, and see her as someone who who changes her identity, deceives everyone at the ball, and um, basically is a character who um, uh, is not all that forthright in a way. And, and she appeared to me to be very ambivalent. What was interesting about the Grimm fairy tales as opposed to the Perot is that Cinderella goes to the ball three times. And I thought that was an interesting notion of a, a girl who can't make up her mind and has to keep going back. Uh, whereas the Perot version, of course, she only goes once and uh, returns home to be found by her prince. The idea for Jack and Jack and the Beanstalk was uh, of a fellow who stole. I mean, if you look at the story from the giant's point of view, here's a kid who, who comes to your house, uh, imposes himself on your, um, on your hospitality, and then runs off with uh, uh, all your goodies. Fi and the final uh, coup de grace is that he kills your husband. So that's sort of the attitude of the giantess. And again, Jack uh, went up to the kingdom of the giant three times. And this whole notion of uh, threes was one, uh, one of the reasons that I chose the stories that uh, uh, we eventually decided on. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood uh, seemed interesting um, from the viewpoint of a bloodthirsty kid as opposed to an innocent. And so that was sort of the tact with her. And again, um, people don't often realize that in the Grimm version, she goes back into the woods again and, and kills a second wolf. And uh, we actually had in an earlier version the three little pigs who turned out uh, to be sort of subsidiary characters to the wolf story. Um, what Steve and I were very interested in, in, in the character of the witch, was uh, someone who uh, was honest all the time. And in effect, though she comes in the most unpleasant uh, package of, of the lot, she's in many ways the most direct and most honest. And uh, I think that theme is fairly evident through the show, um, that you can't always equate, equate nice with good. Um, the other thing about fairy tales, uh, specific, excuse me, specifically, um, is that they're very much about the individual. And what happened in our production is the first act became very much about each of these individual quests, and the second act became more about this group as a community. Um, so what we tried to do is, is play out the, the fairy tales as they were written, focusing mostly on uh, each of their individual quests and their own um, uh, transformations, Cinderella, Jack, even the baker and baker's wife. And then the second act, find out what the consequences were of all of their actions in the first act. And um, I'm going to go into that a little bit in more detail when I talk about um, directing the show. But the whole notion of lying and what these characters have to do to get what they want is an important theme to keep in mind when you're doing the production.